Vane Press measures venous pressure non-invasively with a convincingly simple method. There is a high correlation to intravenous pressure, R equals 0.95. In most venous diseases, there is venous hypertension. Mein Name ist Kurt Jäger, ich bin Chefarzt der Klinik Angiologie am Universitätsspital in Basel. My name is Kurt Jäger. I am head physician of the Department of Angiology at the University Hospital of Basel in Switzerland. Angiology is the medical specialty which studies the diseases of circulatory system from tip to toe. In the arterial system, pressure can be measured reliably with Doppler's principle. In the venous system, there is no such possibility. Venous pressure can only be measured invasively. Furthermore, most venous diseases are correlated with elevated venous pressure, venous hypertension, respectively. On an international congress, I met Dr. Ulrich Baumann. He showed me his system measuring venous pressure. The method is convincingly simple. This simple elastic membrane measures the pressure in the venous system. The pressure is then displayed in a pressure device. Compression of the vein is displayed by ultrasound. With this prototype of vein press, we conducted a systematic scientific evaluation. First step was a proof of concept. Artificial venous hypertension was achieved by inflating a cuff. The pressure on the forearm was measured invasively by an inserted intravenous line. At the same time, it was measured with the aid of the new pressure device, vein press, non-invasively. The next figure shows the correlation between venous pressure measured invasively, PVPI, and non-invasively with vein press, PVPN. There is a strong correlation. R equals 0.95. Furthermore, the correlation coefficient of inter-observer difference is excellent. R equals 0.95. There is a good correlation between central venous pressure, ICVP, measured with an intravenous central line, and the new method of non-invasive measurement of NPVP. This study was conducted at the intensive care unit of the University Hospital of Basel. The correlation factor was R equals 0.85. The next study was a step into real life. The question was whether or not it was necessary to use a high-end ultrasound system and if only a qualified sonographer could achieve such good results or if a short training program would be sufficient in order to learn to measure venous pressure precisely. We were very curious to find out if a trainee with half a day's instruction could achieve equal results using this simple and elegant method that would be as accurate and reliable as the specialist. Our data show that central venous pressure can be adequately obtained non-invasively within a short time, less than four minutes, and neither depends on specialized personnel nor on a high-end ultrasound system. I am Markus Aschwanden. I was part of the scientific group which evaluated the measuring of venous pressure non-invasively with vein press since the beginning. I would like to show you now how this measurement is done. The patient is lying in a supine position. The upper thorax is inspected clinically to avoid wrong results. Especially, we are looking for scars or porticath. Heart level is determined with the aid of a stick that divides thoracic diameter in 3 fifth to 2 fifth. This heart level, or zero point of central venous pressure, CVP, is transformed by a mobile pointer. The sonographer is looking for a suitable vein on the forearm. 
The vein is displayed in cross-section. Best results are achieved when the vein is situated directly above a bone. The pressure device is now connected to an ultrasound transducer. The vein is displayed and slowly compressed. The system is being leveled. For this purpose, make sure that the elastic membrane at the front of the device has no skin contact. Now, the vein is compressed slowly several times until the lumen of the vein is occluding. Vein press measures the intravenous pressure with high precision. In order to calculate the central venous pressure, CVP, the distance to the heart level is measured and subtracted from the intravenous pressure, in our example, 4 centimeters of water column. At the moment, the vein press pressure transducer is being further developed. A new project in collaboration with the Swiss Federal Institute of Technology in Zurich, ETHZ, and the University of Basel has been started and is being financially supported by the Swiss government. We are looking forward to the further development and future results of this new and convincingly simple technique to measure venous pressure non-invasively, especially in the field of venous diseases. In most venous diseases, there is venous hypertension. The principle of measuring venous pressure by vein press is convincingly simple. There is an excellent correlation measuring venous pressure non-invasively with vein press in comparison to intravenous pressure, R equals 0.95. The technique might help to calculate central venous pressure, CVP, non-invasively. There are no complications at all. Bedside measurement can be done. Learning is easy. Measurement with vein press depends neither on specialized personnel nor on a high-end ultrasound system.